Hi guys, this is Crivly again with another stationary product review. And today, again, and as always, we have a fairly interesting product right here in front of us. And what we're looking at today is a superior labor product. It's a pen case and it has a name as simple as the superior labor flap pen case because it's a pen case uh, with a flap. That's about it. This superior labor flap pen case has been sent to me for review from our good friends at nomadostore.com. Beautiful shop. They also have a brick and mortar store. Go check them out. There is lots of travel and stationery products that they do carry. And they also do have like a very beautiful company philosophy that resonates a lot with me personally. Go check them out. And thanks for sending me this product for review. So I can cover this for all of you. Uh, the product came to me in a fairly unspectacular packaging, which uh, environmentally I do personally like because we all throw away packaging afterwards. So for me, the product is much more important than its packaging. There was like a little cardboard label in there saying attention and then some stuff in Japanese. Um, that I don't know what it says for any Japanese speaking people out there. Maybe you can put in the comments down below here um, what this stuff means. Uh, I would guess it has to do something with leather care and leather as a natural product and uh, all that jazz, but I'm not sure. And you get a little superior labor leather and co tag that looks a little bit like a coffin. Uh, maybe it's a memento mori thing, I don't know, or it's just like my weird interpretations, but hey, that's what you get. And then you, of course, get this very beautiful flap pen case that I'm now going to cover. Price of this product is 130 euro. Uh, we all know that these superior labor products uh, that are handcrafted in Japan are ever so slightly on the more expensive side. But I can already say that this will be a true heel loam product right here. Um, I think the price is absolutely justified. If you're in for a cheaper or cheapo product, of course, then not. But if you are in, you know, buying into this philosophy a little bit of, you know, buy really only what you need and use those products for as long as you can, then I think the 130 euro roundabout here are an absolutely justified investment because the quality of this product is absolutely fantastic. I've been using this product for exactly one year and a couple of weeks now on a daily basis, and it still holds up perfectly, of course. There is not even any use of wear and tear or, you know, like the leather patina that some people really looking for has not developed here very much, of course, because it's a darker leather product. This is this here is the brown color that flap pen case is available in a range of different colors. I believe there is a black there is a fantastic looking mustard, which might then pick up a little bit more patina. There's also a taupe, same applies to that color. There's a blue, um, I think that's about it. But yeah, so beautiful brown flap pen case. Let's cover it. The leather is a structured leather, as you can see right here, even after one year. Taking a deep nose here, it still does have really nice leather smell. Has beautiful stitching here, as said, handmade in Japan. Has a band here that holds uh, the flap in place. Says standard and strong, we take pride in craftsmanship and never skimp on time and effort. The superior labor made in Japan in gold. I think that is embossed. No, it's not. It's printed on. Uh, so it might actually color off after a while, perhaps. As said, I have used this for one year now every day. I was touching it. I had it in my bag. Um, I, I didn't treat it particularly gentle and you see nothing came off. It's all still on there. Great. At the back, you have a super cool brass clip with some, yeah, I don't know, is it anodized or printed in, but it's definitely definitely rough. It's recessed, saying the superior labor 
standard and strong. Very cool. Uh, it's a little bit of a fidget toy, if you like. Um, I have a leather bag, a leather work bag that has some uh, pockets uh, on the side of the large compartment. So I just like slide um, that pen case in here, uh, in there. But of course, if you, for instance, have a, a traveler's notebook, right? Uh, and you can use this like that. Let's slide it on here. Um, and then you can always carry your pens with you just like that. If that's what you prefer, right? Uh, that's what you could do. Uh, absolutely fantastic, flexible product in that sense. Beautiful finishing of the edges. Open up the product like that. Does not, you know, the flap does not close automatically. It just remains open like this. It's marketed as a two to four pen case. So of course, depending on the size of pens that you have in there, on the girth, on the width of those pens, you have more or less pens in there. As you can spot here, I have done a little modification to this flat pen case because I personally am a little bit wary of my pens um, and I am not a friend of putting pens in a pen pouch that then touch each other. And as you can see right here, this is only one large compartment. So there are no... Um, there are no dividers in there, as in some of the other pen cases. Uh, here's a um, pen envelope, you know, where you have different compartments, or at least you have like a divider in between compartments. You don't have that here. So if you would put your pens in there just like that, you know, the metal clip of this Pelican pen would go onto the ebony wood of this Graf von Faber Castell, which I personally am not comfortable with, but I also know that a lot of people would not have a problem carrying their pens like that. To be honest, the likelihood of anything happening to your pens like that is extremely small. So it works perfectly fine, totally cool. And as you can see right here, I now have a more Blanc 149 in here. So, no problem in even carrying large pens. I would say it even can take a um, Pelican M1000. Let me try to also stuff that Lamy 2000 in here. Yeah, then it gets a bit tight in here. So there's now three pens in here, a Mont Blanc 149, a Pelican M600, and a Graf von Faber Castell classic mechanical pencil. Could also get the Lamy 2000 in here instead. Works perfectly fine. That's about the depth of the pen case. If you prefer, you can of course also clip your pens on here like that. Um, I'm not a great fan of that because it just kind of gets a little bit in the way of the flap and uh, it's more difficult to get them out. I, I prefer to just put them in like this. And since this pen pouch is not extremely deep, um, it's very easy to get them out just like that. So that works super. Yeah, and as said, my little hack is, uh, I had like a single pen pouch um, that I have gotten for review at some point from someone. It was a little bit longer like that. So I just cut it off here. Um, and then I slided it into this one here. Just so that this aligns up here, the edges. Yes, so, and uh, you know, like that, I'm much more comfortable because like I have a pen protected in the middle. Then I have one here on the left, you know, protected by this single pen case. And then I slide another pen in here on the right. Yeah, and even if I have that thing in here, there's still no problem, three pens fit in here, but now, Nothing rattles, everything sits snug, nothing touches. Uh, that's how I'm much more comfortable. And I'm sure there's like a bunch of other hacks that you could try. Or if you're not as obsessed with pens not touching as I am, then you're per perhaps perfectly fine with just using the product the way it is. 
Um, as said, it closes super easy, even with a girthy Mont Blanc 149 and my little hack in there. So no fiddling, you just get that out and have your pens at the ready in no time. The one thing that I will say that I found when using is, um, of course, depending on where you put that thing, you have this brass clip here that swivels out ever so slightly here at the bottom, which of course is meant to make it more easy to slide this thing onto your inner jacket pocket, your traveler's notebook, your bag, backpack, or whatever. But of course, what it also does is that when you lay it on a flat surface, you will have this thing here scratching on wherever it lays if you move it around, right? So if you have like sensitive surfaces or whatever, um, yeah, I normally then put the thing upside down. So for instance, when I have the product on my traveler's notebook, I rarely put it like this. I don't mind my traveler's notebook looking a little bit scuffed uh, and beat up, but you see, if I just move it forth and back ever so slightly, I get pretty significant marks on it. And uh, of course that will happen wherever you put that item. So one word of advice is to be a little bit careful with it. Um, so I always put the pen case on my traveler's notebook like that. Or when I am somewhere in a meeting room, uh, you know, and I'm not sure about the surface and I want to be a bit careful, I'll put the product on a surface like that. So that is something to be aware of. I'm not sure how this brass clip is put in there. It's perhaps there's a slit in the leather and then it's put in. It goes fairly deep until about here, the backside of that clip. It's folded brass and then goes in until about here. And I assume it's glued in. So if you're la in love with this, but a bit paranoid about the, you know, this, the scratching happening, you could perhaps somehow get that out. I wouldn't advise it, of course, because you may damage the product. I won't do it because I think it's absolutely part of the beauty of this product. And uh, it is, as shown, you know, fairly practical to adjust it uh, uh, or like clip it onto, onto any other item. But it's just something to watch out for. Hey, that's that with the review of this fantastic product. Uh, I'm absolutely in love with it. Uh, I think the price of the 130 euro, as said, is justified if you look at the long-term investment. Only to watch out, as said, is, uh, you know, do you mind or do you not mind your pens touching? And if you mind, can you hack it? Uh, and, you know, uh, the brass clip and the swiveling uh, of it. That's it, my friends. Thank you very much for watching and also thank you very much to our friends at nomadostore.com with their beautiful philosophy for shipping this beauty here over for review. That's it with this review. It was a pleasure and I'll all see you at the next review. Ciao, ciao, so long.